Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's installment of Align's Daily Dose of Advice, our way of bringing you valuable insights and thought leadership from business experts from around the world on various topics that will hopefully help you and your business. My name is Eugene Turk. I'm the Vice President of Business Development at Align, and you can always learn more about Align at aligntoday.com. And my guest today is Eric Frank. Eric is an entrepreneur. Uh, who now spends the majority of his time coaching other entrepreneurs, business owners, leaders, and teams to grow dynamic businesses. Um, Eric's passion for health and wellness uh, inspired him originally to start Your Nutrition Delivered in 2011. Uh, it was a corporate health food company and rewards platform. Uh, that company grew into an industry leader that provided more than 25,000 meals a day to employees around the country. A little bit of trivia, as during his time with Your Nutrition Delivered, Eric served as the personal nutrition coach to Jonah Hill, Peyton Manning, and Jack Black. So a little bit of a celebrity status there. Uh, Eric is now focused on leading teams all over the world through strategic quarterly planning as a scaling up certified business coach and as part of the Petra coaching team. Um, and he also currently serves as the president of the Louisiana chapter of Entrepreneurs Organization or EO. Eric, always a pleasure to have, see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Eugene. Pleasure to be here. All right, as we move into the reopening phase of our joint COVID experience, um, companies are now going to be focused on telling their brand stories, uh, whether that be based on some new offerings that they are providing to the marketplace, whether they have pivoted in their business models or just in response to the uh, change in the marketplace that we are all sort of experiencing. Uh, they may be focusing on questions about how to reach out to potential new customers and get out their message about who they are and what they do. And so I was hoping to talk to you about that today. Um, as your coaching clients are moving to this next phase, what are you coaching them on to focus on first? Sure, Eugene, it's, it's, it's a great question. And we keep hearing the words new normal, right? New normal, it's a new normal. What does that mean? So, you know, some companies have changed their products. Some have changed their uh, customer base. Um, and some have changed nothing, but no matter what, the consumer's world is different. Everybody's lives are different now than they were, say, eight, 12 weeks ago. And for us to get our brand messaging out, it's really important for us to get inside of our customer's head, our client's head. Um, so what I'm telling all of my clients to do and working through this with a lot of them is a customer journey map. And we were fortunate enough to have uh, John DeJulius come spend a day with us at Petra University this past um, February. And he's the author of Customer Service Revolution, and he walked us through this process. So in a customer journey map, what you're doing is you're literally putting yourself inside the customer's head. So I'm having my clients start about a month ago. Think about how are, how are our clients feeling right now? Um, what actions are they taking? Where are they going for their information? Um, and how are we communicating with them? So I have them start a month out, month back. And then today, how are they feeling? What are they scared of? What, what is driving the decisions that they are making? So we're hearing a lot of people talking about fear and they're uncertain. So as you start to build your brand story, what you want to do is make sure that your story is tuned with your client's minds today. So you're telling a story about how they're feeling today, what they're scared of, what they might be apprehensive about your brand about. You don't wanna tell the same story you were telling 14 weeks ago, 20 weeks ago last year. It's a different story. So you need to figure out what your clients need to hear and then tune that new story to make sure it's resonating. So uh, once you go through that exercise of creating a customer journey map and sort of the thought, the, the, the mental exercise of getting inside your client's head, what do you do next in order to tell that brand story? How do you get that brand story out? Great. So, you know, telling your story, it, it's very easy to think 
that you are the star of your brand story. You are not the star of your story. Your client is the star. And if you've ever watched any movie ever, um, they all basically have the exact same storyline. A character has a problem, then meets a guide who gives them a plan and calls them to action. So as you tell this story, you have to realize that your brand is the guide. You're not Luke Skywalker, you are Yoda, and your client is Luke Skywalker, and Yoda is leading him or her to the promised land. Mm -hmm. So that's what you need to think about in your story, making sure your client is the star and making sure that they can, they can understand the story, they can identify with the story that you're, you're putting them through, and then they'll come to you as the guide. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start this on social media. And you're gonna you're gonna make sure that your your Facebook and your Twitter and your Instagram and your you know your Face Snap and your chat box and your TikTok, you know, whatever, whatever you're using, that it all has the same brand story. And and you're looking for testimonial videos. You're looking for your clients to talk about how you help them. You might be using your team members for videos. So you're, you're first, you're really tuning the social media platforms to make sure that it's communicating that right story. You're not the star, your client is the star. You are just the guide. Um, I actually have seen some of the videos that you have posted on your link channel with your coaching members talking about the value of the coaching and sort of as they've been going through this process. Um, so I know you're, you're, you're doing that yourself. Um, so once you've got these social media platforms kind of uh, chugging along and you're getting the right messages out there and you're getting good engagement, people are actually responding and liking and sharing the content uh, that you're providing out there. What's the next step? How do you sort of get to a bigger audience than just those people who are friends of yours on Facebook or connections on LinkedIn? Sure. Great, great question. Because your social media channels only go so far. And then we want traditional media to, to care about us. And so a lot of the clients that I work with are a little intimidated by traditional media. Well, how, how do I get them to pick up a story? And, and do I have to do a press release? What, what does that look like? The good news is the traditional need, media needs us more than we need them. There's a 24 hour news cycle. They constantly need stories to put out. So what I, what I coach my, my members, my clients to do is, pick a couple of reporters that you want to engage with and start to follow them. When they put up stories, comment on the stories, ask them questions, share the stories on your social media platforms and start to build a, a relationship with a, few, with a few reporters. So it could be one from TV, it could be one from the newspaper, from a business magazine. Um, have, have your few and don't ask them for something right away. Build that engagement, show them you're, you're a part of it. And then when you're ready for a story, when you're ready for them to cover something, potentially reach out and say, hey, John Smith, I'm really a big fan of your work. I've been following you for a while. I, you know, I incite some stuff that you liked. And then ask them for advice. Say, I've got this story. I really respect you. Could you give me your thoughts on it? I'd really like to get some coverage on it. Not asking you for anything, just your advice. And, and see what they say, they probably will end up running with it. They'll probably end up giving you some advice on how to make it better. Um, but then that's how you get them to share it digitally. The, the other thing is, if you're gonna do an on-camera interview, so if it's, if it's something bigger and the news wants to cover it, or um, you know, they potentially wanna come, send, come someone to your office, you need to learn how to speak in sound bites. Mm -hmm. so, the news is a very, every, you know, we all watch the news, it's tight segments. Um, so what I coach my members on really, really hard is when a news reporter asks you a question, make sure that you repeat the question and give them a 30 to 40 second answer at the most and then stop talking because they have to edit it into their newscast and they're gonna build bumpers around each side and you don't want the reporter to take some of your time asking you the question. Um, a great thing to do is to get media trained if you're gonna do a lot of this. I work with a client, Devney, here in Louisiana, they do media training. I think they're an aligned customer as well. 
Um, but, but getting media training and learning how to talk in those sound bites can really help you carry a lot on air. All right, so now we've got social media, we've got traditional media, we're getting some PR, maybe we've got some stories that are getting run on television, uh, maybe even in printed media. Uh, is there anything else? What else can, they, can, can, can a company do to sort of get that brand message out there? Yeah, so here's, here's the challenging part you probably need to start over. So, you know, your story is going to be good for the next 90 days, maybe 60 days, maybe 90 days, and then the market is gonna change. Your customer's journey is gonna change, right? So they're feeling different, they're right. acting different, they're doing research in a different way. So every 60 to 90 days, you probably wanna go back to that customer journey map, rework it, rework your story, and start over. But the good thing is you've built engagement, you've built followers, and it should be a lot easier now, but you can't let your brand story get stale. You need to make sure you're telling the right story at the right time to the right person. Right, that's sound, sound advice. Um, Eric, the question that I ask everyone when they come onto the Align Daily Dose of Advice video series, what is the number one piece of advice that you are offering your coaching clients right now? Not necessarily related to telling your brand story, but just generally the number one piece of advice. Sure. And, and um, I give this advice to my clients and I give it when I speak to students and it, it never changes. It's always the same. Any jerk can do strategy. <laughs> Execution is where the game is won. So right now it's about going out and out executing your competition. There's gonna be more bankruptcies in the next two years than have been in the last 10. There's also gonna be more millionaires and billionaires created than in the last 10. And it's gonna be the people that execute the best rather than have the best strategy. So go out and execute. Sound, awesome advice. Um, Eric, it's always a pleasure speaking with you. Nice seeing you. Um, for those of you that would like to learn more about Eric, you can go to PetraCoach.com. That's P-E-T-R-A Coach.com. Um, again, if you'd like to learn more about Align, you can do so at AlignToday.com. And we hope that you will join us uh, on our next installment of our Daily Dose of Advice. Till then, thank you so much, and we hope you have a great day. Thanks, Eric. Thank you, Gene.